This evening, we're also learning new details about Gary Levin's life in South Florida. WPTV's Matt says he has a local Jewish agency that now wants to step in and help. Terribly heartbreaking. Ter it's a terribly heartbreaking story. Rabbi Lieb Ezegui is feeling as most do over Gary Levin, and he wants to help. We offer to assist with any end-of-life care, um, to pay for any burial um, or any 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 cost that will that will come with um, taking care of his remains. It's an offer of kindness to a man who seemed to offer kindness to those he met. This was a golden man, a golden man. Kathy Ginsburg know. spoke to Chris Gilmore about the life she and Gary had in Palm Beach Gardens. He wanted to move here, so I came with him, of course, and. Um, he wasn't making the kind of money that he was making in Philly. It's a small window into what life may have been like for Gary Levin in Florida, working as a rideshare driver, and apparently also led Gary and Kathy to turn to the kind kitchen for help. It really breaks our heart. They've been recipients maybe for about a year and a half to two years. Chani Ezegui is the kind kitchen's founder, offering food and meals from Tequesta to Del Rey. I think it's a basic human uh, instinct or emotion that we take care of each other. We really, we look out for each other. And when something like this happens, it kind of calls together the community in such a beautiful way. Gary Levin's family in their latest Facebook post says they are continuing to make funeral arrangements. And in a statement to us, they say they are also continuing to ask for privacy. In North Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.